All right, everything you need to know about Aki's in under a minute. Go. All right, hot spot, 150. Cold side, high 70s, mid 80s, that's what we shoot for. Hot ambient, it's gonna be about 95. UVB, we love it, so do Aki's. Put UVB in there, they love the sun. Check out, we have about 30% sand mixture and a bunch of cocoa fiber. It goes, leaves a nice dry air at top, nice moist bottom. They love to lay eggs, they love to burrow, they dig tunnels, they're like little ants. Crickets, always a must. Crickets, dubias, insects, that's what they eat six days a week. Seventh day, we treat them something special. We'll throw some egg on some, uh, we'll throw some egg on some turkey. We'll do some salmon from time to time. Always, most important, calcium. Pack them with calcium. They can't have enough of it. My crickets look like ghosts when I throw them in there. Calcium, D3, just as important. Mercury Vapor Light, we throw that on there. Not only that, we have another T5, T8 UVB light. So we have all of our stuff to go. Because they like to climb, they like to move. If you have a female that's pregnant, you'll see her hanging up just like she's leaning on a ladder. Bonus tip. I use vinegar to clean the glass because it doesn't hurt the animals. Vinegar water. Oh, vinegar water. <laughs> So today we get to debut Jay's brand new super cage where we ended up putting one of our male Ackies because our trio ended up being two males. So we have one of our Ackies we moved over here. We're going to have another female over here after Red lays eggs over at my place. So Just full custom cage here, uh, full custom outside, full custom inside. We got rock backgrounds in there built into the wall for him to climb on. It's 100 nooks and crannies. I do, we are gonna be getting some more boulders to, st uh, to stick in there. Benefits of getting all this rock in here is, um, is the fact that it holds heat well, right? With all this mass, it, the heat stays, it sticks around. It, it really holds temperature well. It, it makes it very much like it is in nature. When the sun, co sun comes out, all the rocks start warming up, then they hold the heat, and then when the sun goes down, they hold their heat till it comes down. I made a reed stack out of thin rock. Uh, this actually goes all the way down. If you look in here, it keeps going and going and, and going. So he's got that stack that'll allow him to thermoregulate. Hey buddy, what are you doing? As you can see, he's an Aki. He's very curious. Um, so one of the things I did want to point out while we were talking is if you look at his feet, you see how his toes are missing? He's got kind of paddles there on his front feet. Um, we did get this Aki used. <laughs> so the guy we got him from loved these animals. He had a passion for them, but you know, with anything, it's really easy to get misinformation. And he was keeping them in a tank that had a screen top. So when you have a screen top on a tank like that, they're gonna dry out. You don't get the humidity you're gonna need. You call him, bud. Mm -hmm. So without the humidity- Well, he was just told they're a desert creature. The yeah, pet store, I mean, yeah, yeah, who we got him from, he thought it was supposed to be desert dry and yeah. So he just got the so misinformation. Just, yeah, so. He just, so there's a lot of misinformation out there, but these are not super desert animals. Um, they do need quite high humidity. As you can see, well right now we got the door open so it's only at 60%, but he usually usually is around 70% humidity in here and he loves being out of here. <laughs> so, I let you play and now you just want to run. <laughs> so if you look, my, you know, I would like to point out too, and I know we had a couple people comment on the videos worried about the husbandry and everything. And, we're amateurs. We're, we're not pros. We haven't been doing this for 40 years. We do our research. We try to learn everything we can. and We try to, to do the best we can with it. But we do appreciate people that do have concerns. Uh, if you do have concerns, see us doing something wrong. We all make mistakes. We all meet, read misinformation sometimes. And uh, we're always willing to grow. We always want to be bettering ourselves and bettering our animals' care. As with anybody. I don't think anybody that really loves this hobby or loves reptiles doesn't want the best that they can for their reptiles. Nobody knows everything, so we, we are definitely trying our best to do what we can and always look for input or look for anything that you guys have found or any kind of input like that or especially scientific studies are awesome. I love any kind of research papers that actually talk about tracking these animals in the wild and how they live and they're, you know, that, that, that stuff's awesome. I, I really like that. Uh, it's a lot of good, uh, good vlogs out there, a lot of good uh, 
podcasts. There we go. There's a lot of good podcasts and stuff out there where they do bring people on. They do bring researchers. I rambled pretty good, so you might have something to talk about for a little bit. No. No. It's all getting cut out.